Tulsa police are investigating the city's 68th homicide after a man was found dead in a car along Highway 169 this morning. News on 6's Megan Farley is live on the story with the latest from police. Megan? Well, Terry, yes, the family of 38 year old Jason Harris just reached out to News on 6, telling us that he was the man police found dead in that car this morning here along 169 at around uh, 5 o'clock this morning. And police are confirming that for us. But right now they say they still have a lot of questions and they believe there are two other people they're still looking for that are involved in this. Just after 5 this morning, a driver called police when they saw this wrecked Jeep on the side of Highway 169. When police arrived, they found a man in his 30s or 40s dead inside from a gunshot wound. Sergeant Dave Walker believes the shooting happened a couple hours before anyone even called police. They found two shell casings in the area, one outside the Jeep and one inside. And where the car ended up, the driver doesn't have easy access out of there. We, we then think we have two people. We have a driver and someone in the back seat. Back seat passenger gets out and, and, and confronts the the victim, and, and then after that's done, then, then the driver can exit the car. Part of the investigation is why were these people driving along the stretch of 169 at 3 in the morning? He believes there could be ties to drugs, gangs, or possibly sex. The hotel chains at 31st and Memorial at 51st and Yale. So th those are areas that we can check, but takes a lot of time. And Police were on scene for hours this morning trying to piece all of this together as heavy morning traffic backed up on 169. Walker also believes this crime was not a planned one, and so they made mistakes. And so it's now us to try to find out what mistakes they made and how we exploit that to, to get a name with those mistakes, and, and, and that's kind of what we do. That Jeep that uh, Harris was found in, police did try to uh, find who it was registered to, but unfortunately, they said just a few weeks ago they sold it to someone for cash and didn't have any information on who that person was. Live in Tulsa, on the scene on the story, Megan Farley, News on Six.